overall it's been it's been good. You know, we started first game, we lost first game, and it was uh, it, it was a surprise for the boys. I think it didn't. A lot of them only three players had, had done this before, so for them to try and figure out the game and how you play it and the physicality of the game and understanding of the game took a bit of time. Um, a lot of a lot of them struggled in the first game and showed, um, and we lost the game. But since then they've been phenomenal. I have to be honest, we were we were talking about it and we were talking about how they're going to cope with it, how they're going to react to it. But the act of the reaction was fantastic. It was really, really good. You know, they they kind of rise with the tempo of the game and understanding of the game. For me, one of the biggest things was the one v one physicality of it. We kept losing them in the first game. We lost all the one v one. Second game, third, especially third game, the boys went outstanding. They never get beat one v one defensively. We won all the battles going forward as well, and that just sets the tone for the game. And to be fair, they were clinical in front of goal um, the last two games. Especially the last game. Last game they were, they were absolutely outstanding and didn't look in any bother at all. You know, I mean, we've also I think we found the right groups together. I think that's a big key. You know, I mean, in the beginning for me and, and, and much as well to try and figure out who suits playing with each other and being strong with the midfielders and defenders and strikers and all that. Um, and we found our groups now to actually look strong together and really really good. And we, I think that was maybe struggled a wee bit in the first first game as well. So I think overall very very proud of the boys. Um, how they reacted from that to going through and being dominant in the two games that I've fallen that was was a really big plus for us and uh, yeah a very very big positive for us also now going into games for tomorrow so now we just need to get them back rested uh, recoup again and then and you go again and you did touch on it a little bit there about the reaction of the players after that first game there's a lot of young players in the squad yeah. as well uh, it must be pleasing to see them step up and react too yeah no, but that's, you know I mean when you when you go and lose the game like we did and we didn't look strong at all and we looked like we got run over we ban lose like, like, like a deer in headlights you know we were a bit lost and like you say we have a lot of young boys coming through and how they reacted to it you can either just go and sink or you can rise with it and they've they've risen to the to the challenge of it and uh, they were they were fantastic and the reaction of the boys and how they've stuck together and worked with each other has been magnificent so far so but that needs to keep going now you know they set the tone now with the, the way they finished the game second game they got stronger the third game they were fantastic and outstanding actually and now you need to go and push on again for the next one so tomorrow will be a big test gonna yes we're gonna go into Porto who's not won a game at all but that doesn't mean anything because they're big, strong, physicality guys. So it's uh, it's going to be a really tough challenge for us. Um, but if we if we couldn't play anywhere close to what we did in the last game, we're going to have a good chance of, of keep pushing through and, and and hopefully get further than we did last year.